Hello there and thank you for joining us on this week's edition of Engineering and You. Engineering and You is a program that comes to you every week with the purpose of encouraging young people, especially um, young engineers, young secondary school leavers, to venture into engineering because we know that development is only hinged on the development of engineering as a profession in this country. My name is Tundio Laniro. The program is pro sponsored by Prince Engineer Yemis Shilon, FNSC, is the reason why we come to your viewing pleasure at this time of the day, every Friday. Today, the program is going to be very interesting. My guest is already seated, and um, it's a very interactive one where we don't just get to talk to you, we also get to talk to us and win a prize, courtesy of our sponsor. And the question that we have for you to answer today is, why does a year consist of 365 days and a day of 24 hours? Why does a year consist of 365 days and a day of 24 hours? That's a long explanation you have to do there. So if you know the answer, you can drop it on our social media handles as displayed on the screen. And also, you can pick a phone and call us in the course of the program. We'll be here to respond to you. If you are correct, you get the prize from our sponsor, Prince Engineer MC Shilon, FNSC. And before you give me your answer, make sure you prepare a question for my guest so that um, you'll be qualified to answer my question for the day and get a prize. We will take this very short break. When we return, I will d disclose who my guest is and the topic he will be discussing with us today. to know that you are still there and my guest for today is engineer Vincent Omotosho Osholake and um, he is, is going to be discussing with us a topic, very interesting topic really, a topic I personally find interesting, solar energy. Now what is solar energy all about? What are we going to be deriving from solar energy? Let me not let it cut out of the bag, I'm not the guest on the show. Let me allow um, Engineer Oshalake to take it up from here. Welcome to Engineer you, sir. Thank you, sir. So you, you, you have the floor. Solar energy. I'm yeah. curious. Uh, we'll be talking about solar energy. Solar energy is so crucial because we have various forms of energy. And we have mechanical energy and we have um, 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 chemical energy. We have various forms of energy. But so, solar energy is so unique and so distinct among all other energy. And the distinctness of this is that we is a renewable is a renewable one, and is less of pollution free. It's pollution free. When you are talking of solar energy, what does it come from? When you look at the sun, sun is the one that actually giving us the solar energy, and uh, we sun is. Is, is, is solar energy is produced from the sunlight. Solar energy describes the way, the way electricity is generated in a solar panel. Why do we choose a solar energy? Because it, it's a nutrient. Mm. And it's a nutrient because when there's no other source of electrical power, we go back to solar energy. Because in a remote control, in a remote site, when there's no conventional electric power, you have to look for alternative of solar energy. And why do we choose solar energy? We choose solar because other sorts of electrical power are not reliable. Are not reliable in the sense that there's, there's an erratic power supply. There's an erratic power supply. And the other thing is that the energy that we're having is, the, even the tariff is, is geometrically uh, high, and people cannot want to afford it. Why do we choose solar energy? It, it's, it's pollution free, it's emission free, it's not toxic. And why do we choose solar energy? We choose solar energy because it's the most convenient and safer option for us to, to, to use in, in our own trend, in our own 
B. Now, we have component of solar energy. When we talk of solar energy, we have major components of solar energy. And one is so solar panel. And what is solar panel? Solar panel is, is a panel of semiconductor. They have a silicon inside it. It can absorb energy, it can absorb photons of energy. And from this photon energy, it can actually generate and it can generate a, a, a current from it. From here, we can actually use it. But when we look at the solar panel, we can actually connect it in two forms. We can, we can connect it in parallel, and we can connect it in series connection. And we have what they call controller. What is controller? And one of the major components in setting up a solar energy. Controller is the, the device that manages the inflow of current in a battery. It does not allow the, the battery to overcharge. It does not discharge the battery. It maintains the, 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 maintain the battery. It maintains the threshold of the battery level at a point in time. Now, another component of solar energy is solar inverter. And this one that you are seeing on the screen is hybrid inverter. And uh, in fact, because when you look at the solar panel, it's when it converts, it converts from DC. It's the inverter that will not convert from DC to AC because this is a direct current and it maintains a uniform direction. But when we are talking about AC, we are talking of alternative current that changes its value in magnitude and in direction. That is the reason that there must be an inverter in setting up a solar energy, whereby the inverter, the function of the inverter is to convert DC to AC, and where the battery. One of the components of the solar energy is we have a battery, and we have two types of battery. We can use a lead, lead acid, and we can use a lithium acid, depending on the value of, of uh, depending on the value or the rating of what we want to get. And these are the components. When you look at this component, there's a blood diagram there, there's a wiring diagram. When you look at the side, there's a, this is a schematic blood diagram. We are showing the solar panel. From the solar panel, we have a controller. From the controller, we have a battery and we have the inverter. And depending on what you want to use, either you want to use low voltage device or a high voltage device. Now, we can look at the wiring diagram. That is the solar panel at the peak, at the up there. There's a breaker connected to it, which is a uh, DC breaker, and we're connected to the hybrid inverter. From hybrid inverter, there's another wire run into the, into the DC cable that was run parallel to the battery. And it, it depends on the way you want to connect it, because as I earlier said, your solar panel can be connected in series and you can connect it in parallel. And there's a change over there that was changing it, and you can get your output from it. And what are the uses of solar energy? In our street lights, we make use of solar energy. Most, we don't need to rely on conventional electrical power. With it, you don't need to own it. It on itself. By the version of the photocell, one that's dark, it on. It energizes itself. So that there's no need to have a skill or not skill labor to own it. And this one are the use of solar energy. Car, we have solar car now, which is an innovative idea. Solar car, with use of solar car, the issue of uh, frozen fuel is, is eradicated. The issue of buying fuel is eradicated. Because if, uh, the solar panel is actually mounted on the top of the car. So some cases, they mount it at the side. So that when you are driving, you have energy to store. And from there, you can still be moving, and you have energy to drive your car. All right. Um, engineer um, Vincent, thank you so much for that, that very incisive re uh, presentation. Um, you can I now have the floor to call us. Um, before then, I'll just ask you one or two questions. Now, uh, climate change. Is a, is a word that is um, common 
now in this in this generation the mouth of almost every world leader we talk about climate change talk about um, eradication of carbon monoxide eradication of um, fossil fuel and all of that now this is something that solar energy and the innovation around solar energy can um, actualize but my question now is um, how much of that have we achieved in Nigeria, going by the fact that we are, we have the kind of weather that we have as a tropical region? Yeah, if you look at what the federal government is doing over the issue of an energy transmission plan, it was trying to actually eradicate the fossil fuel. If you, uh, I think uh, when they went to the uh, COP28 at Dubai, even talking about the issue of um, eradicating fossil fuel because of the, it's because of the climatic change. And what we need more now is renewable energy, a clean energy that actually that can sustain us. Because all those carbon, all those carbon monoxide, they are they are greenhouse emission and they have a side effect on us. And there's highly imperative for us now to adopt holistic approach on using of renewable energy, which is solar energy. And once we're able to do that, if you remember what the federal government is doing now, they want to they are looking at whether they, 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 are, they are what we call uh, net zero drive. Net zero drive is that they want to extend, they want to make sure that there's, we, we eliminate emissions. Even in developed countries, they have started that. Even uh, they, they have a target about 20, 2050. They want to eradicate fossil fuel because of the climatic effect that is causing. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, do we have engineers? that can produce this to solve the problem for us in Nigeria? Yes. Or, or do we, are, we, are all our solar energy power generation imported? Yes. Partially some of them are imported because of, if you look at this, uh, the solar cell, the solar cell is imported, even some uh, hybrid inverters. But we have people that manage, manage, manage we, 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 it is not in high uh, multitude. We, we, we have a caller, um, Glory from Owe. Hello, Glory. Hello, Glory, can you hear us? Yes, sir. good evening, sir. Good evening, how are you doing? Fine, sir. So, first of all, you asked my guest a question. So, what question do you have for him? So, I want to ask the guest the question or not the question. Can, can you speak a little louder? So I want to ask the person that when he said that reasons for choosing solar and he said it is pollution free. So he does answer that he, he should put more light on it that he does touch the solar panel. He cannot generate power directly from the sun very well. So it is the same. So I want to ask him why that Alright. Okay, um so you can answer my question now, Glory. Hello, Glory. I think we lost Glory there, but I, th I think you get you, you get his question. You said you should shed more light. You said it is um, it cannot be polluted. Mm -hmm. I need to shed more light on that. Yeah. And, and how do you want to know how it, the, the power moves from the energy moves from the panel and gets to, to now, the house? Is pollution free? Is emission free? Is is pollution free in the sense that it is sun that send energy into the solar panel. We receive, the solar panel receive energy from the, in form of a photon. Mm. And this photon is not converted it, because by use of solar panel, we convert it to a AC. But during that process, is, there's no fuel. You can see that, if you look at the process at, at which I show you, there's no fuel right. involved. We have another caller, Christiana from Bantoko. Hello, Christiana. I think, I think we lost, we lost her there. Can continue. Now, now when you look at the composite, because it's a renewable energy, you, it's a clean energy because in the sense that every day you get new energy. It's not exhausted. We get it on a daily basis. Even at night, you see, get some atoms of energy to power your, your, your TV. Uh, so you said earlier on that we have engineers, local engineers, Nigerian engineers that can develop this yeah. and make this available. But why, the question that will come to mind is, 
why is it now expensive since we have local engineers that can do it then why can't it be so available so much so that almost every household would have one or two the fact is that it's a need point because of the new innovative people are exploring that area it will go to a point when the price of solar and the data will come down because every house is want to have light it's simply because we have er er erratic uh, power supply and uh, the only alternative is solar now and since the alternative the price goes geom geometrically um, high because the demand is uh, uh, demand is too much glory is back uh, so glory i was asking you to answer my question before the line that went off the problem is that the estate approximately 366 price and structure deal to audit this. That's why it takes 365 days with an extra to be added every day. As for a day consisting of 24 hours, it is based on the education of this average. This one small rotation taking roughly 24 hours. Uh, Glory, keep watching. I'll let you know if you are right or wrong. Thank you so much, okay, Glory, for calling. I appreciate that call. So you were explaining to us that the, with time, the price will go, will, will come down. Will go down. But the, I want you to speak to young people that are watching this program on the potential that um, is embedded in going ahead to work or do a research into solar energy or come com, com into engineering course that will help them explore innovations in solar energy it's going to actually help them to leverage on the it because it's more of power and it related it's going to leverage on it uh, it's going to we have another caller again oh, sorry for cutting on the short and john john from ikorodu hello john hello sir good um evening how are you doing how is Korodu today it's fine sir thank you so please go ahead i'm sure you have a question yes sir go ahead sir, yes. Solar, solar, solar energy is one of the people of energy. Can you say that again? Is solar energy one of the cheapest form of energy? Is it one of the cheapest form of energy? Yes, sir. All right, my guest will answer that. So you want to answer my question too? Yes, sir. Please go ahead. A year consists of five days. Because it takes the year six to five days to be before. And the day consists of four hours. All right, John, please keep, keep watching. Uh, I'll let you know if the outcome of the answer, of the quiz. Thank you so much for calling. So he wants to know if solar energy is the cheapest form of energy. Is that true? Yes, exactly. It's only, it's only that it's capital intensive. It's only capital intensive when you are starting it. But after that, you can really enjoy it. It's only capital intensive when you are buying it. Once you get this thing done, you are not, you are not doing any maintenance. The maintenance is even reduced. Almost zero. Re zero. All right. How do, you, how do you encourage young people to venture into, um, into engineering? What kind of engineering can they venture into if they want to go in, to do more about solar? Solar is electrical. Electrical, electrical engineering. Yeah. So, and how do, you, how, how do you, what is the potential in that electrical? That's electrical? Yes, potential in the sense that uh, that's what um, solar energy now is 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 an hot cake. Uh, all right. Hold your thought, please. We have another caller again today. The calls are much. Hello. Hello. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine. All right. You want to ask my guest a question very quickly because our time is um, running. How much is solar energy? How much? Okay. You might not have a... Let me allow, allow you to answer. All right, do you want to ask my question for today? Okay. All right. I think we lost her. He wants, she wants to know the, yes. the price. The price varies. It depends on the power. The power... The, 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 it depends on the power capacity of the solar panel that you want to... We have of 500,000, we have of 
1 million plus, we have about 2 million plus, depending on the, the rating capacity of the solar energy that you want. Right. Is, is, a, is the power rating capacity that determine the price? It's okay. And um, I, I, lastly, I want, to, I want to ask this question. Can it develop a fault? If yes, how do we have hands for repairs? Or when it's faulty, that, that's the end no, of it. No, we can, we can repair it. Starting from the solar panel. If the solar panel is dirty, what you need just to clean it, clean the surface, surface plate. And that is only major. But once you connect it, there's no excessive voltage, uh -huh. excessive current. It won't, it can be there for, for, for years. You know, another thing you have to do is to check the, the battery because it dries there. You have to check it. It got to a point when it will weak and you have to look for a way of replacing it. But what, the other component they are there if there's no high voltage that destroyed it can be there for, for 10, 15 years. Are there any device, probably in the household, that cannot be powered by solar? There's no solar. Solar can power, it depends uh, power capacity. It can power any of your devices once you, uh, once you have your money. Once you have your money, it can power, because the one we are using in my company, it can power machines. It can power a machine. We are talking of a mighty machine, so that if there's any breakdown in in our, in our generator, it will pick up to work. At least you can see work for two, two or three days. Well, so lastly, as we as as we round off, um, what message do you have for those that have the authority and the power, those in government, to explore this as a solution to the epileptic power supply? that um, we are having. How can they explore this? Yeah, uh, we have to thank uh, Rua Electric uh, Agency. They are on top just to get to this thing. Most of these villages, they install, they deploy solar energy. And they are the things they are doing is that they don't want to, do, they don't want to rely. They want to make sure that they want to stop migration of Rua area coming to urban. Because there is no light, that's where they are coming. And they want to, the reason why, the only option is to give them light. Once they have a light, they have a livelihood. They have means to make money for themselves. Okay. And uh, that's, government has been doing more, and we still need more from there. All right, government has been doing more, and we still need more. So on the, your screen is the question for the day. The answer is a year, 365 days, is the time it takes for the Earth to travel around the sun. And a day, 24 hours, is the time it takes for the earth to spin around once in its axis. So um, John from away got it correctly. The reason is that he called first. Um, we, the other caller too got it correctly. But the reason you are giving it to John from away is because he called in first. So we, if you, John, if you are watching us, 0703-161-1497. 0703-161-1497. Call and claim your prize because of our sponsor. As we go, the question for the week is right there on your screen. Why is the sky blue? If you know the answer, please drop it on our various social media handles. We will get the, your, your prize across to you if you are correct, courtesy of our sponsor, Prince Engineer Mr. Shilon, FNSC. Why is the sky blue? I'm, I'm sure you are wondering why. So go do your research and drop the answer. We have to go now. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for watching. Thanks to my guest, to thank Engineer you so much, Osh Oshalake, thank for you. coming here to do justice to the topic. Next week is another time, another guest, and I will be here by God's grace. Till then, my name is Tuno Lanyo. Bye-bye.